The Pioneer trial was a placebo-controlled trial uh, looking at avapritinib at a dose of 25 milligrams per day against placebo in patients with indolent systemic mastocytosis who had to have been on at least two prior therapies or actually prior therapies is not the right word, uh, who had to have been on at least two supportive therapies or, uh, or uh, best supportive care as it is called. So avapritinib or placebo was essentially added to the regimen that patients were already on and the primary endpoint of this trial was uh, a mean reduction was the mean reduction in the, in the total symptom score uh, in the two arms and uh, the trial enrolled uh, upwards of 200 patients and uh, uh, there was a, uh, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in, the, in the comparison, the primary endpoint was met uh, with the with avapritinib having about a 15 point reduction mean in symptoms and the placebo about nine. Uh, this was statistically significant. And importantly, the, there were other endpoints also that, uh, you know, frankly had been envisioned even before the mean TSS uh, uh, came into being as the primary endpoint. And those endpoints were like TSS 30 and TSS 50, which would be the proportion of patients achieving a 30% or a 50% reduction in their symptoms. And those two were, were positive for avapritinib, statistically significantly superior for avapritinib. Um, now, beyond these symptom uh, responses, which obviously were, were there uh, uh, for all to see, and also uh, as a corollary to that, uh, there was a reduction in the use of best supportive care medicine. Medication. So patients were able to come off some of this polypharmacy that, that, that happens uh, in, in, in these patients. Uh, and, and also uh, the responses got better with time. So as you went out from 24 to 48 weeks, you saw improved, continued improvement in symptoms. But coming to the biomarkers, which is sort of the proof of principle of the drug hitting its target, um, uh, impressive reductions were seen in serum tryptase. For example, over 50% of patients had a 50% or greater reduction in tryptase compared to almost no one in the placebo group. Uh, and then also things like uh, the KIT variant allele frequency or allele burden, which has been actually said to be the best marker of disease burden in systemic mastocytosis. That too, we saw profound reductions in uh, with, with, with avapritinib. Uh, besides that, there was the clearing of bone marrow mast cells. There was, uh, in this population, not not much uh, to, uh, to, to, to speak of in terms of spleen because that is something you would really see in the advanced population. So, no, so not much to say there, but definitely bone marrow mast cells going down, serum tryptase, and then the kit uh, allele burden, uh, really profound reductions in, uh, in all of these, even at the 25 milligram dose.